Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome or welcome back. And I hope that you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to come hang out and check this video out. I greatly appreciate that. So in the last video, I said that I thought it would be fun to put out some Christmas content this month. And this is going to be the second of those videos. Uh, last time, we looked at how Marvel explains Santa's ability to do what it is that he does. This time around, we are going to be looking at the time that Deadpool saved Christmas. I've got a few more Christmas videos lined up on the way, so if you're interested in hearing about the time that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Hitler, the time that Santa got his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet, and the time that Santa and Howard the Duck hung out, you might want to go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on notifications, that way you get an alert whenever those videos are dropped. So, the story that we're going to be talking about today comes from 2016's Deadpool Volume 7, Issue 7. And as you know, whenever I do a video that focuses on a single comic book issue, I like to start out the video with my favorite quote from the comic. So let's get started. So it's holiday season. Gather together your loved ones and let us tell you a tale of Ebenezer Deadpool, a successful businessman who sits alone in his office, his mind on his money and his money on his mind. But then he's visited by three spirits and they show him the... Wait, what's, what's this? We couldn't get any spirits? Uh, never mind. Anyways... So, it's Christmas morning in Queens, and a little girl wakes up excited and anxious to open all the presents that Santa brought her overnight. So she rushes downstairs and into the living room to find... nothing. Not a single present under the tree, so it goes without saying that she was not pleased. Now, I was once a child, and so were you, and I'm sure that you remember how exciting Christmas morning was, and I think that we can all agree that if we got up Christmas morning and found that there was no presents under the tree, we would have, we would have all been upset. So I'm sure that you will believe, as I do, that this little girl's completely rational reaction and response and what she does is completely justified. See, it did not take her very long to realize that she was not the only kid that Santa had snubbed this year. In fact, nobody got anything. So she set up a GoPayMe account online, a GoPayMe campaign online, I should say, and kids from all over the world kicked in their allowances so they could raise enough money to hire Deadpool to kill the person responsible for ruining Christmas. So basically, these like-minded kids from all across the planet decided that killing Santa Claus was a rational reaction to not getting any presents just for one year, and I agree. Now, after arriving at the North Pole, the first people that Deadpool encountered were Doctor Strange and Thor, who were for, were for some random, unexplained reason, they just happened to be hanging out in the body of a celestial, getting drunk, for whatever reason. Uh, but whenever he arrived at Santa's house, he found all the giant candy canes broken, a mailbox with overflowing with letters, uh, the sleigh was up on cinder blocks, and uh, when Deadpool found a broken window, he was able to actually enter the house through it, while also informing us that pulling a breaking and entering at Santa's house is actually on his bucket list. But uh, his presence was not very welcome, because the moment he entered the home, Miss Claus opened fire, trying to shoot him, forcing Deadpool to throw a sword into the gun's barrel to cause it to explode in her face, and then after a brief conversation, she eventually agreed to bring him to see Santa Claus in his workshop. Santa was wearing a cloak standing in front of a fire when Deadpool confronted him over not delivering any presents, and Santa threw back his cloak, revealing an emaciated figure holding a giant jug of moonshine and a mallet while yelling, fuck Christmas, fuck those crybabies, and fuck you before attacking Deadpool. And after a brief fight, Deadpool breaks Santa's knee. Uh, but with his gun to his Santa's head, he could not pull the trigger and instead just asked Santa why he decided to bail on Christmas this year. And uh, Miss Claus answered for him. So Santa has a knack for bringing joy and cheer to the world, but he was never really a very good businessman. So he hired an elf named Tinsel to oversee the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, he organized everything from the manufacturing to finances to travel and delivery. And while he was very good at his job, he eventually became greedy. Now, despite it being a clear violation of the rules, to save money, Tinsel wanted to hire outside help, but Santa would not allow it, and this pissed Tinsel off, causing him to turn the other elves against Santa and convincing them that Santa was deliberately taking money out of their pockets so they would remain oppressed and serve the evil master of Christmas. So the elves staged a walkout, and they all find employment at a place called Rocks on Toys. So Deadpool realized that the kids had hired him to kill the person responsible for destroying Christmas, and it was clear at this point that Santa was not to blame, so he went to Rocks and Toys, where Tinsel was forcing the other elves to work in a sweatshop-like environment, or at least he was until Deadpool shot him in the head and stole all the gifts from Rocks and Toys, 
and then return to the North Pole to kind of explain what all had happened. Um, but clearly at this point, the Santa was in poor health, so Deadpool decided that he would take the sleigh and deliver all the toys himself. And well, that is, that's, that's, that's how Deadpool saved Christmas. Thank you, Deadpool. You're the best. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. But that is all I've got for this video, you guys. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking on the like button. Um, if you want to see the videos that I talked about in the beginning about Hitler and all that, um, you might want to go ahead and subscribe. That way you get notified whenever those videos drop. But um, yeah, I will see you guys next time.